So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Ahrefs to find really high traffic potential keywords um, that are very low competition. I used this method myself um, about a year ago uh, to build out a site based on a keyword I found using this method. Um, and I spent about $2,000 building out that site and it now makes um, it close to $1,000 a month, which is crazy return on investment. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. So head over to Ahrefs. Once you're in, in the tabs along the top, click on Content Explorer. And that'll bring you to this page that I'm on now. And if you don't have an Ahrefs account, you can get a seven day trial for $7, I believe. It's well worth doing just for this. And so once you're in there, click into there, and then you want to put in a keyword, which is going to give you a broad range of um, articles. So for the, in this case, I'm going to put best in there because that'll give us um, a ton of pages that are targeting affiliate sort of keywords. I'm going to change this to entitle and then let's see what comes up. So there we go. We've got a ton of articles here. Uh, best French onion soup, best small martinis recipe, best banana pudding cheesecakes, best tiramisu, a lot of bacon in there. And um, you see all these domains here, really high DR. I'm not getting a huge amount of traffic though. Um, so let's start playing around with some of these filters. First of all, let's make sure that all the results are English. Um, turn Filter explicit results here. That doesn't seem to work too well actually, but worth turning on. Don't want any of that. Um, and then this is where it gets exciting. So add a domain rating filter. Now this is gonna sort of limit the uh, power of the main. So from, leave that empty, to, let's put that up to 10. So 10 isn't that high. Um, you know, you can get a DR of 10 with relatively few links. And then let's add another filter, page traffic. So let's let's go, let's be quite ambitious here. Let's put 10,000 in there. So what this is going to do is we're going to now see um, a list of pages where the sites have a DR less than 10, but they're getting more than 10,000 sessions a month. So what that means is they're relatively low competition and they've got high traffic potential. Um, so let's have a look. We will get a lot of spam and stuff that it really isn't worth chasing, but there is some really good stuff in here as well. Best CSGO case opening site and skin upgrader. Football prediction site. Something in India. This one's quite interesting. Top 100 condolence messages, best RIP messages. 60R, page traffic 96.5K, that's huge. Let's have a little look at this. Got some a few ads on there. It's probably making a good bit of money. This it's quite a simple page, really. It's just literally got a list of condolence messages you can put on um, a card. So imagine this is making some good money off ad revenue. One thing to be aware of when you're doing this kind of thing is uh, you find a lot of low DR sites which are getting high traffic, which are in the gaming niche. Um, and personally, I wouldn't build a site in the gaming niche just because. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, not COVID. I wouldn't build a site in the gaming niche because um, the RPMs in the gaming niche are very, very low. It's not unheard of for you to get sort of three dollars per a thousand sessions, which is really quite poor. Um, imagine if you got a site that's getting a hundred thousand sessions, which is huge. You're only making about three hundred dollars. Um, so I wouldn't pursue that. Some, some sites in the gaming niche do make good money, of course, but as a general rule, you've got to think about your audience. Um, in gaming, a lot of your audience is going to be made up of kids and teenagers who, who don't have a lot of money, who aren't looking to spend money. So um, you're not going to get a high R RPM off them. Whereas this type of site, um, you probably will get a much higher RPM. Um, you know, think about the type of people who send condolence cards. Generally, um, adults, people who have more money, to spare. Um, I mean, obviously everyone will sadly have to send a condolence card at some point, but as a general rule, you'll be sort of targeting more mature people. So the RPM will be way higher on this. I can't estimate exactly what it would be, but this could be a good little niche for someone. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it myself, but let's have a look. What else can we find? Um, looks like my explicit filter is not working too well. Never does seem to on a hit dress. Um, best 100 sad quotes and sayings that will make you cry. 
Fordia 16.8k traffic. That's a nice one. Um, text sheet alternative. 10 best sites like text sheet. 10.3k 5DR. Um, what else have we got? 10 best cheap CNC machines in 2021. Top products review. 8DR 15.7k. Let's have a look at that. CNC machines, a machine used for cutting wood and other hard materials to give it a certain shape. Um, so this is obviously a, an affiliate page, but it also has ads on. So probably making some serious money off this. So let's have a look at some of these products. Let's see what kind of prices we're getting. And that one's unavailable. $219 for this one. So it would be good a bit of affiliate commission on these. Um, plus the ad revenue, of course, from this page. So this could be a really good little niche for someone if you want to build a a um, site around CNC machines or woodworking or something. You know, there's clearly money to be made here without having to spend a lot of time and effort building links. So this guy proves with his site. Let's have a look. Let's change things up a bit. So let's change this DR filter to three. We're going to get sites here which basically have no links or just a few kind of spammy links and um, let's have a look what do we get how to view instagram private accounts in 2021 best iit coaching in bangalore more explicit results we don't want them um free movies there do seem to be a lot of free movie sites that come up in this search i wouldn't bother building one of them myself Best weed online, Pokemon, best moving company. Yeah, there's quite a lot of explicit stuff in there. 10 best back page alternative websites in 2020. One DR, page traffic 37.2K. It's quite impressive. Let's have a look at that. So presumably back page is like a, looks like a classified ad site. And this is just a basic list of a load of alternatives. Craigslist, Olex, Facebook, free ad time. So you can easily create something around this. Um, just a really simple site with a much better article than this. I mean, it's a very, very simple article. Um, you know, it doesn't even have a, I'd, I'd put a little table in here or a little, yeah. I mean, if you chuck a little table in here with the, all of your top 10, why are they, why are they as good as um, back page? You, know, you could have a real money maker. He hasn't really got any ads on here either. He's got this one ad here, uh, and apparently he's getting crazy traffic to this page. So, um, and he only made it in Feb the seventh, twenty twenty one. So that suggests that this, you know, could be an easy um, keyword to rank for because he's he made it a couple of months ago, and he's already number one and getting crazy traffic to it. So there we go. Um, I don't have a great deal more to say than that, but I hope some of you found that useful. Um, I'm going to be trying to put out a few more videos. I do this full time um, live off affiliate and AdSense sites. I've got a small portfolio of five that I'm currently working on. Um, and I'm going to try and put out a few more YouTube videos and just show you guys what I'm getting up to and um, a few little tips and tricks like this. I hadn't seen anyone else mention this, this little tip. As I say, I used this tip myself to build a site um, about a year ago. And I spent about $2,000 on the content and everything on that site. And it now makes about just under $1,000 a month at the moment, um, which is a crazy return on investment. If I sold it now, it's probably worth close to about $30,000, which is, um, yeah, pretty nuts, really. Um, so, yeah, I hope that inspires you a little bit. I hope it gives you a few things to look at. And, um, yeah, please do subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you.